Welcome back to Supers Live. A wild and crazy blind date. They always are, aren't they? Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever been one on, on one, but uh, all the ones that I've been on certainly have been uh, kind of like the chaos that we saw tonight. Um, not to be unexpected, a tough quarter mile track, eight degree banking in the corners and then flat straightaways, drivers banging into the uh, inside tires, bouncing across, going sideways, wiping out a bunch of cars, hitting the outside wall. The guy that was able to steer clear of it all and come home with a victory, his first of the season, 14 races in been a while coming here rob congratulations man you uh know how to get around your home state here and uh did a good job tonight uh, how's it feel to get the win after that wild one tonight thanks a lot buddy uh it's been a long time since i've been in the broadcast booth let alone uh just this season you gotta go back to last season i don't even know non-wing did i make it in i don't know it's been a long time so uh feelings for the win I am kind of heartbroken and overjoyed at the same time. It's kind of like that Formula One race where, uh, you know, you're rooting someone on, you're rooting someone on, and all of a sudden the race is gone. I was happy sitting in third after we made it through the minor carnage. Um, I'm watching the three and the ten, and then I don't even remember what happened to Gary. Um, I think he got a tractor tire, and then uh i found myself in second i had already laid over once because dave o just had a a rocket ship on the bottom so i had laid over going into turn three and he never passed me and then i glanced back up at the splits and he was a half second behind me so i'm like okay well that didn't work out for him whatever happened so i went back to uh chasing down the three and the ten and i was making great ground catching up to them and then all of a sudden there was six, seven, eight cars going down the front straightaway and melee everywhere. Um, cars sideways, upside down, all over the place. Uh, I was just lucky enough to make it through without any major damage. Um, a very odd race because this is the first time I've used the brake pedal in NASCAR heat. And I can't tell you how long after watching Dave O carve the corners on the bottom and get a rocket off i was hazing the brake on entry and doing a quick stab on entry and that put the car right down on the bottom and uh i was going to give dave o the bottom uh and he he was two tenths of a second behind me and i'm like all right next time by turn three i'll let him go low and all of a sudden he's on my outside and uh all heck was breaking loose in front of me. Um, I caught a tractor tire, caught Dave. Oh, Brad was upside down. Cars were sideways down the front straightaway, and I just pegged it. Um, had a really great run with Steven Vincent for a while. Um, I was telling the guys in the driver's lounge, uh, I think that was either Steven's or Ryan's race had, uh, had they had a little bit cleaner race with about 20 to go. I was shocked to find myself in the lead with, I don't know, 10 or 15, 15, 16, 17 to go. I don't, I don't know how many laps I led, but it wasn't a lot, but I really thought Steven or uh, Ryan had that race. Uh, they were so darn fast in practice and so darn fast in qualifying um, second and third, I think on the board for qualifying, but uh, the fourth fastest car got it. I don't know what happened to Dave. Oh, uh, That'll be an interesting replay for sure. Well, congratulations, Rob. Uh, getting the uh, 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 night kicked off or the Empire State Super Series kicked off in, in fine fashion here at uh, Empty Bowl Ring. May not have been the prettiest race, but uh, he finishes first. Just plain wins. So uh, congratulations. You outlasted him tonight. Thanks a lot, buddy. I got to thank uh, Breeze Graphics and uh, Hairbag Studios for all the work KT does behind the scenes throwing this out for uh for me to watch next year <laughs> in preparation for this race again um i love the youtube channel i love watching the race from a year ago i always go back and watch it uh either saturday before sunday practice or and mostly again monday before tuesday and maybe even tuesday before we race so 
Breeze Graphics, uh, Cindy Lou Who, and Icing's on Top. Man, some fantastic awards hanging on my walls, sitting on my shelves from uh, from all that she does for us. And Supers.net, couldn't do it without your help and all of the admins and all the behind the scenes work and all the constant uh, constant work trying to trying to push out a great product for the guys to race and uh, and have fun. Uh, tonight might not have been the most fun for a lot of guys, but uh, hopefully the, the guys that survived did have fun. Rocket Rob Warren, your winner here tonight, his first win of the season on Blind Date Night. How about this guy finishing up in second place, third quickest qualifier? Stephen Vincent, you had one whale of a heat race with Ryan Clunan, and then you had an incredible feature battling for fourth place. In fact, second through sixth at one point. Just tooth and nail out there until some pure chaos erupted around you guys. Walk us through your feature. Congratulations on the second place tonight. Oh, there, oh, there we go. I know, talking privilege. Yeah, well, I got to thank you guys very much for putting this on every week. This is uh, some whole lot of fun i love uh super modified racing but yeah no uh starting there six uh picked a couple guys off at the start there uh was just driving around uh dave and o and i were uh there uh, right with each other fighting tooth and nail and then uh, as you guys were talking about that chaos that happened i don't even know how i got through turn one and two during that time i think i drove underneath uh brad his car was up in the air and i feel like there's parts flying everywhere and i just you know, when you're racing, you just got to go, pick a line and go. And that's what I did. And then uh, I was just running there a second and then just trying to get through that lap traffic. You know, it's it's hard on the short track, not trying to run people over. Um, it's, it's nice actually trying to run fast once in a while. You know, I haven't been the fastest person all year um, as I'm new to this racing system. So trying to get this going. But no, definitely, definitely fun racing. It, it was a little chaotic out there, but definitely fun. How, how much pressure did you, that's uh, I, I'm, I'm getting used to this like getting back on the bike here uh steven I, I hit the wrong buttons how much pressure did you have from the 13 at the end of that race oh i, I could feel him breathing down my neck uh, i was actually right there with rob rob and i were side to side and there was a lap car i don't remember who the lap car was and i i tried to go down low just to get by and i, I was just going to run into the tire and that really separated uh Rob and I, he had a great run there, but, uh, yeah, I could feel Ryan breathing down my neck. I could hear his engine right behind me. I was trying all I could to, uh, keep him behind me. You know, we're, we're good friends and he helps me out a lot. Um, so, uh, I was, it's just nice to, nice to beat him once in a while. Cause I never get to beat him. Well, you did it tonight and, uh, did a great job out there, Steven, a real good night for you. Third quick. Uh, in time trials, uh, a great battle in the heat race to get into the top four and then second here tonight uh, to kick off the Empire State Super Series Regional Tour. Uh, I know you've got some great sponsors on that number 28. Uh, who'd you like to thank? Yeah, I'd like to create uh, thank Creative Assistant. That's a business that I own. So it's just me. Um, and obviously, I want to thank all of you guys and all the sponsors uh, who run this. I wish I could name them all, but I I don't know all of them as I'm new to this, uh, but I definitely got to thank you guys for uh, all your hard work behind the scenes to, to make this uh, season a possible thing to do. Stephen Vincent, your second place finisher, a rookie running for the Ices on Top Rookie of the Year award. That's going to help him chase down the guy that finished third and is currently leading the Ices on Top Rookie of the Year standings, Ryan Clunan. Uh, we are going to wrap things up and say uh, congratulations once again to Rocket Rob Warren on his first win of the season here tonight. Gets around a New York track in New York style. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, picking up the win here on Blind Date Night. Next week, we will come to you from Canada for the very first time. It's the 17th supers christmas special and for the very first time it will be run at san air super speedway the one mile track that was home to indy cars for quite some time and uh, also the american canadian tour it's going to be a fun one a one mile track 25 laps and the winner 
goes home with a Burgers Smokehouse Ham. And time for Christmas. Make sure you join us next week on Supers Live at 9 for that very fun event. The Christmas special finishing out the season before we take our Christmas break uh, over the holidays. In the meantime, don't forget to stop by Supers.net. Click the fan tab, learn more about Super Modified Racing and who Supers is and why we do what we do. And, uh, again, thank you to that anonymous donor for a $200 donation to the Dion Parish Memorial Benevolent Fund for Super Modifieds in memory of Todd Gibson, the 1968 Oswego Speedway track champion who passed away a week ago yesterday and was buried on Saturday. We are going to say thank you so much to all of you for tuning in tonight. Been a pleasure to be able to put on this show for you. Uh, we appreciate you taking time out of your Tuesday evening to uh, join us. We want to thank First to Finish Race Servers, Hairbag Studios, BreezeGraphics.com, Icing's on Top for sponsoring the Super's Triple Crown of Super Modified Racing, uh, Super Modified Sim Racing, and also the Icing's on Top Rookie of the Year. Also, thanks to all of our regular sponsors, including WAG's Custom and Cool Awards, uh, just uh, putting together some nice stuff out there. So until next week, we want to remind all of you that when you're out on a blind date, remember to keep it wingside up and wheels to the ground.